Mm. I haven't had a haircut in like five months and yeah, my hair right now is lacking confidence. Anyways, what's up guys? Tino here. So today we're gonna set up my office because I'll be going back to work soon and I kind of need this place to be set up. Uh, before we do we connect anything though i need to connect my ups now a ups is good for two things one it will protect your devices from you know bad power supply and two when escom decides to disconnect me i can continue using my computers for hours until they decide to to, to reconnect me oh and another nice added bonus is uh, i'm using fiber which stays connected even when there is no power because their, their routers use UPSs too. So that means that if I can connect my router on my UPS, I can actually continue having in internet access even during load shedding, which is pretty cool. So let's, uh, let's, let's get on with it. Now the UPS I'm gonna be using here is made by a company called uh, APC, Schneider Company, and um, it is rated for 800 watts. So that means that all my devices cannot draw more than 800 watts, otherwise things will happen. And this is the power supply. I can't really, see, well, not the power supply, the battery. Uh, can't really see clearly there, but it does look like it's a 1 kVA uh, battery, which is perfectly suited for this thing. Before we connect to anything, I need to actually figure out whether all my gadgets uh, draw less than 800 watts, because yeah, it would, it might damage my UPS if I connect more than 800 watts. So to do that, the easiest way to do that is to just take the power supplies of everything you're gonna be connecting and add up the power, the power rating on each of those devices and then you've got your total. So for my laptop example, it's gonna be 65 watts. Uh, my other laptop is 45 watts. My monitors are all 45-ish watts. Uh, I think actually one of them is like 25 watts. My router here, it's a pretty small router. I would expect this to be like super small. Um, it doesn't say at the back there, so I'm gonna check its power supply. Now I'm gonna disconnect myself. Pro tip, if the power brick itself doesn't give a watt rating, you can just multiply the voltage and the current and you're gonna get the actual power rating itself. Uh, in this case, the router is like six watts and the other fiber terminating thingy, that's like, you know, I think that's like five watts or something. So it's not, it's not that big. Which is awesome. So that means all my gadgets take in a total of like rough math is about 200 watts, which leaves me with like 600 watts, which is great because my TV is actually like 200 watts. And I can imagine my Xbox is probably like 100 watts. So that means I can actually game online when escom is doing things to me and that's really cool anyways okay let's uh let's 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 unpack the ups and connect this thing i've never actually connected the ups so this is going to be interesting this is one user manual i might actually read because yeah you can't just be out here connecting things wow it is huge so the battery goes in there and then this is where you connect your devices and this is where you put in the power from ESCOM. How on earth am I supposed to pick... Oh, wow. Let's try out this idiotic move. I think this is how you're supposed to do it. Ah, there you go. Ah, secured. Okay, so I have connected, uh, I've connected my laptop to my router and the router to the UPS, which is going all the way, you know, the cable. Uh, and I have opened up my command prompt here and I am pinging Amazon servers from my own network. Okay, so switch off the mains. You can see that thing is already using battery. Now let's... Go check if our network connection was interrupted. As you can see, nothing happened. My pings are still perfect on both sides. No latency increases, it's still one or two milliseconds. Okay, so the setup works uh, as far as power is concerned. Now, obviously I have to wait for an actual power card to see whether the ISP's internet will continue working when there is no power. Okay, next up, 
the actual workstation, my monitors and stuff. So let's do that. Okay, uh, I was about to actually start unpacking stuff and I just realized this UPS is very loud. Can you hear that? I can literally hear that from anywhere in the house and that's a problem. Like I, I actually wanted this thing to run 24 seven so that, you know, I, I don't have to worry about when there's a pocket, but nah, this is, this is not it. time soon it's far cheaper to just repair them so these are super cheap cable ties i found them at a fun friend store in uh, chinatown in cape town i think they were going for like 15 rands they come in super handy when organizing cables and stuff now on to the the actual tabletop itself so first off obviously you've got to clean up the table yeah mr min marty surface cleaner make space for the cables behind the desk now for the first monitor i'm gonna actually have it in portrait mode and for two reasons one i have a small desk so i actually can't fit all three monitors i think i can but it will just look a bit too weird and then secondly there are some applications that just work better in a vertical orientation for example for log diving or maybe if i'm coding and i want to see all my code on one page so i got two of my monitors from work and then the third monitor i actually bought that uh, when i was back in varsity from gumtree i think it was going for like 900 rands when i bought it but it's a nice crisp 24 inch monitor for the third monitor i'll be using a vga cable because this docking station actually only has two ports for DVI, but it also has an extra port for VGA. Super cheap cooling fan. I got this from Take A Lot. I think it's like 200 rands. No, probably less than 200 rands. Now here's the big problem. I don't have that much space on my desk, so I really have to find like a suitable place to place this laptop because I won't actually be using it when I'm at my desk. I think this is a suitable position. So this docking port also has an RJ45 port. Also bought this network cable from a five rand store. It's a 30 meter network cable and it was going for like 200 rands, which is a really good deal. Now let's switch on the workstation. First need to reorient those monitors. Cable is working perfectly. So my current favorite person printed my favorite picture and framed it for my office. Wireless charger works perfectly. Now for the light show. As you probably have realized by now, I like lights. I like things. I found this strip of lights from the same five rand store. Uh, five meters goes for like 200 rands. And then you can also buy these extra accessories uh, to allow you to change the lighting and stuff. Stick this strip of lights around the table and it actually uses up only half of the strip. So I'm gonna have to cut this in half. Oh, perfection. Look at that, looking beautiful. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Only used two and a half meters, so I'm actually gonna cut the strip in half and then use the other half in my lounge behind my TV. Small problem, this strip is damaged. Uh, this thing actually isn't working anymore. So I have to like cut it off and then solder it back on. I haven't soldered in like years, so this actually took me one hour. Oh, it's working, beautiful. Okay, yeah, now I gotta clean up this mess. So yeah, that's my setup. Uh, a few things to note. You may have noticed I'm no longer using my uh, colorful mechanical keyboard here. And that's because I use that for gaming on my Xbox. So like I find it really annoying to have to disconnect that every single day in the morning when I have to work. So I figured I'm just gonna use this crappiest keyboard. It works perfectly fine anyways. If you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed this DIY type of content, make sure to let me know in the comments. Um, I'm actually using this workstation now for editing this video that you're watching. And the portrait monitor, that's actually where my 
file browser and all these other effects and stuff is which leaves my main monitor with just the timeline and the preview video which is really cool sadly my work docking station doesn't work with my personal laptop but that's fine i don't need to use it anyways like the video and subscribe to the channel and before you leave make sure to check out this video here youtube is confident you're gonna like that one or this video here if you watch both of these videos make sure to click here to subscribe and i'll see you next week okay bye bye have a good day